So I'm here in Entebbe, Uganda, with uh, with Andrew. Andrew, can you just put up your badge quickly? Thank you very much. Andrew, why don't you just uh, just briefly introduce yourself? Well, you've already introduced me. I'm Professor Andrew Swai from the Minister of Health, Tanzania. Okay. The story I'm going to tell is why I'm doing telemedicine at the moment. Yeah. I was born in 1950, and in Tanzania, after your, your primary school is six, seven years. Yeah. Previously, it was eight years. Now, I did my primary living examination when I was in Standard 8. And at that same year, the Standard 7s were also doing their exam. So, for because of the competition, I was not selected for secondary school. Mm. So I came to Uganda for my secondary education. Okay. A place called Busem, Tesokole, sorry, Busembatia. Okay. A school place called Bukonte. Okay. So I stayed there for one year. Then one of the students from Tesokole de Aloe was doing some practical teaching at the at the school, and he said, "Why are you here?" You are so bright, you should be in Tesla College and <laughs> You're not so light. <laughs> so, so they made arrangements for me to join Tesla College. Yeah. And I was very happy in it because at that time, then I knew I could become a doctor. Mm -hmm. Because in the private school, you could not do science subjects because they have no labs and things like that. Okay. So that was a turning moment for me, yeah. knowing that I'm going now to a government school where I could do science subjects. So I did my, f I passed my Form 4 very well. Yeah. I was selected to join, to join from five and six at the same school. And when I completed, I had the opportunity, the offer to go to U.S. to do engineering. Yeah. There were some Peace Corps working there, and they had invited me to the U.S. if I couldn't get a university here in, in East Africa. Fortunately, I applied at the University of Dar es Salaam, and I was selected to do either engineering or medicine. And the people looked at my my performance and they said yeah. no this person must go must do medicine not engineering <laughs> so they pushed me to medicine so yeah. i was happy i did yeah. me medical school yeah but before joining medical school i had an offer to be trained as an accountant okay and i was here marked to be the chief accountant for kibo paper industries which was just coming up in dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. i re rejected the offer because it was not going to be a, it was not a university education they were sending me to my local mm -hmm. accountancy school Mm. So I, then I had an offer also at that time to join Mwadui Diamond Mines. This is a mine owned by South Africans in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. they, they offered me a job as a computer programmer. I went there. This was 1973. Yeah. And the computers were the big frames, not the small frame computers. No, huge ones. Enough, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, the, with the punch cards. And they told me it is on the job training. We are not going to send you to school, to formal schooling in computer science and things like that. So I said, sorry, if that's the case, then I'm not me. <laughs> so I told them I'm going back to collect my belongings, but actually I was going, <laughs> I left them and went off to, <laughs> to medical school. Yeah. So I ended up being a doctor. Yeah. And then after, in 1981, we did some service on non-communicable diseases in Tanzania. And then I was elected to name. My responsibility was to enter the data. First of all, we, we surveyed about 10,000 people. And I was asked to go to UK to enter that data. In, first of all, analyze it, the, the, I mean, biochemical analysis in the yeah. laboratory, because we did blood cholesterol, triglycerides, blood sugar. And so I was supposed to analyze the samples in the lab and later enter all the data into a computer. So someone bought me at that time, IBM 80, that's Ooh. the first time they were wow. coming. And they bought a good one for the Tanzanian project, and I was supposed to enter the data. The man programmed it so that when you open it, it brings you a screen through the autoxic bat file, a screen for you to enter the data. And he asked me to save the data. I didn't know what saving was, so I said, yes, I'll do that. <laughs> So three days later, he came, and there was nothing in the computer. Oh, no. <laughs> so have you been saving? I was too shy to tell him, no. I don't know no, what I didn't saving. understand what you're talking oh. about. So I went off to the library and read, read all about DOS, which was available in the Newcastle University Library in UK, yeah. and books on DBS, because we were using DBS at that time. And in a month, I was an expert in the computers. And one, whatever problems they had at the medical department, yeah. they would look for Sway. Why is Sway to assist us on this? So that's how my interest in the computers came. And then when I, at the end of the year, I came back to Dar es Salaam with my computer. Yeah. It was mine. It was yours. You earned the, it. That was the first computer at the hospital. 
And the room there now, the computer room was started, it is still the computer room to the moment. Since that time, we've been able to, so we developed that in that small unit now into, a, into the health management information system. Yeah. You could run in the hospital paperless if we wanted. Mm. And then we also, I was able to develop an IT department at the college. It is a teaching hospital. So on the college side, there is a very good facility mm. for the students and postgraduate, undergraduates, and the library. It is all IT ready. Mm, what a beautiful story. Yeah. I have to cut you off. I'm sorry. I know we have, we're running out of time, but... I, I like this. I like this. The guy who forgot how to save became the IT expert. <laughs> Joe, I want to call it. <laughs> so when I was retiring now, the ministry said we want someone to coordinate telemedicine. Yeah. And so they thought the best person was why, and that's why I'm retired, but I'm working at the ministry as ah. the telemedicine coordinator. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.